Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about the structure of an ionic compound that is cesium chloride. Let's go into the topic. Before going into the topic, let us briefly recall what is ionic bond. It is a type of chemical bond. We know that chemical bond is classified into three major types: ionic bond, covalent bond, and coordinate bond. And in particularly that ionic bond that connects metals and non-metals. So during the formation of an ionic compound, complete electron transfer takes place. That means the metal atom loses electrons and the non-metal atom gains the electron. That means the complete electron transfer takes place from metal to non-metal, leading to the formation of cations and anions. That means metals after losing electron forms cations, and non-metals after gaining the electron forms anions. And the electrostatic interaction between these positive and negative charged ions. makes the formation of ionic compound and some of the typical examples of ionic compounds are sodium chloride so we have discussed the structure of sodium chloride in my previous video uh, if you didn't watch the video i have given the link in the description you can watch it and here we are going to discuss about the structure of cesium chloride radius ratio rule helps to predict the st uh, structure of an ionic compound that means uh, the radius ratio is nothing but the radius of the positive ion to the radius of the negative ion so here the radius of the positive ion that is cs plus ion is 169 picometer and the radius of cl minus ion is 181 picometer and uh, uh, that is the radius ratio will give that is the radius of positive ion to the radius of negative ion will give the value of 0.9337 and if you refer the radius ratio table that correlates the radius ratio with the coordination number and the type of void we could see that the cscl belongs to cubic lattice with a coordination number of 8 so let us uh, discuss the structure of cesium chloride further So as we discussed in radius ratio rule the cesium chloride crystallizes in cubic lattice so you can see the cubic lattice structure here and in the cubic lattice structure the chloride ion occupies the eight corners and the cesium ion occupy the body center of the cube or vice versa that means the chloride ion can occupy the body center and the cesium ion will occupy the eight corners so both are possible here the we can we can assume that the green balls as chloride ions so chloride ion occupies the eight corners and cesium ion that occupies the body center of the cube and we can see calculate the coordination number and the coordination number is nothing but the number of positively charged ions that surrounds a particular ion so here the cesium ion will be surrounded by eight other chlo chloride ions and hence the coordination number is 8 and since we can interchange the position the coordination number of chloride ion is also 8 so it is a type of 8 is 8 coordination and this is the 3d image of uh, cesium chloride and if you calculate the contribution of ions we can see that the chloride ion occupies the eight corners and we know that each corner will be shared by eight other unit cells and hence the contribution of chloride ion is 8 into 1 by 8 which is equal to 1 and the body center will not be shared by any other unit cell and uh, it will contribute fully for the particular unit cell and hence the contribution of cs plus ion is also 1 and hence there are one cesium and one chloride ion per unit cell of cesium chloride so as per our discussion the structure of cesium chloride is body center cubic system So this is the cubic lattice and the eight corners are occupied by the chloride ions and the body center is occupied by the cesium ion but in the true body center cubic system the ions that occupy the eight corners and the body center must be of same type but here you can see that the eight corners are occupied by the chloride ion and the body center is occupied by the cesium ion so we cannot say it as a true body center cubic system then how can we interpret this so for that purpose let us keep eight unit cells of cesium chloride so this is the second unit cell of cesium chloride and the corners are occupied by the chloride ion and the body center is occupied by the cesium ion so 
so we'll keep one more the third unit cell and the body center the fourth one and its body center so now we have four unit cells and we will keep four more unit cells exactly behind this so this is the fifth one and its body center sixth unit cell and its body center and this is the seventh one and its body center and this is the eighth unit cell and its body center so now we have eight unit cells of cesium chloride and the body centers are body centers of the eight unit cells are occupied by the cesium ion now we connect this when we connect the cesium ion we could end up with a cubic lattice and exactly this particular chloride ion that comes as the body center to the cubic lattice that is formed by the cesium ion so if we remove all other ions you could clearly see that you can see that so now chloride is chloride ion is press what to say chloride ion is placed in the body center of the cube that is formed by the cesium ion and hence the coordination number of chloride ion is also 8 which that also we have discussed in our previous part of the video Then how can we interpret the structure of cesium chloride if it is not true body center cubic system? It can be interpreted as two simple cubic system which are interpenetrated to each other. Something like sodium chloride structure. In the case of sodium chloride, the FCC of sodium ions is interpenetrated into the FCC of chloride ions. So here also, the simple cubic lattice of cesium ion that is interpenetrated into the simple cubic lattice of chloride ions see if you look at the cesium ions alone it forms a simple cubic lattice and if you remove all the cesium ions from this structure you could see that only the simple cubic lattice of chloride ion so it is very clear the simple cubic lattice of cesium ion is interpenetrated into the simple cubic lattice of chloride ion that exactly looks like body center cubic system and hence we can clearly say that the structure of cesium chloride is not exactly body center cubic system it looks like body center cubic system when the two simple cubic lattice structures of cs plus and chloride ions are interpenetrated to each other so thank you so much for watching the video if you have any doubts you can reach me through the mail or post your doubts in the comment section thank you so much